didn't exactly look like that third home run was going to be a home run at first. But kind of what are you thinking as you see it in flight and and uh, and just what have you seen from Rizzo to start the season? Well, Riz has been great. I mean, offense, defense, just intangibles, who he is in the room. He's been he's been terrific. Um, big hits. Um, what I saw was. You know, I, I kind of sold out to that thing up and in and, and sort of got to it, but I thought definitely foul. Um, and usually I I don't usually even watch. I always watch the hitter because they'll kind of tell you. But something told me to turn and watch this thing. And, and, it, and it just started coming back. And the pop-up he caught the inning prior really came back too. So I don't know if... Didn't seem like a lot of wind. I don't the way he just kind of cut it, it and and it sliced on him, but it was an odd ball flight for sure. What has stood out about the at bats over the last? You know, obviously the run production last two games, but even probably longer than that over the last few games. Yeah, I think just um, overall making making some better swing decisions. Um, you know, guys settling in a little bit, and uh, you know not always chasing that result chasing win the pitch have a good at bat you know um and and we're seeing that more now you know i go back to the day uh the saturday game where i thought you know when we end up coming back and winning but i thought we had just a ton of good at bats it could have been an explosive run scoring it wasn't we came back to win and then obviously the last two nights now double digits is it's great to see um, but I think guys are just getting settled more and really focusing on on you know making really good swing decisions and I feel like that's improved what you think of Seve tonight I thought he was good um, I thought you know tough conditions out there a little bit um, just kind of damp and whatever um, you know I thought his I thought his fastball life Lost, started to lose a little bit there at the end. Um, but, you know, he pitched again, you know. Uh, you, you saw a little bit of everything, you know. The different shapes he, the different shapes and velocities able to use with the slider. The changeup was, once again, a really important pitch for him. He stepped on some heaters when he needed to, you know, uh, carrying, what, no-hitter perfect game into the six. I mean, that's that's pretty good. I. I Felt like he did run out of gas. Might have been a little bit the conditions and stuff tonight, just being damp and and misty and everything. So, but but a strong start. Lindsay, Aaron, you've you've talked about wanting guys to get their first out of their way, and Joey Gallo did that with that home run tonight. What did you see from his reaction and sort of? <laughs> yeah, um, I mean that's that's a long way to go there, and he hit it. I think he knew it right away, which which you know I think speaks to his kind of power. And and I thought he had some good at bats after that. Just missed the ball. I think that he popped up to to left. I felt like he was all over. So, you know, hopefully that's something that continues to get him settled. Last few games for him, he's had some important at bats where you know had a big RBI doubles, had some hits and some walks. So, you know, hopefully he's starting to get settled because when he does, he's he's he can really impact. Justin. All right, back to Rizzo. You mentioned the intangibles he brings to the clubhouse. What intangibles have been there in his first full year as a Yankee as opposed to him coming through midway last year? I mean, I just think he knows everyone more, you know, to be even though it was a shortened spring training, to be able <laughs> excuse me, to be able to just really establish establish yourself with your teammates in that setting in spring training where you're building something for the entire season. Um, he's really instrumental in, in, you know, helping us set the kind of tone we want to set, um, you know, from how we go about things, um, how we approach the game, you know, our, their focus, their accountability, you know, he's, he's one of the drivers of that. Dan. Aaron, on, on more than one occasion tonight, it seemed like you guys were going to have an easy victory, yeah. and to to see them come back twice at least. Uh, yeah. And then, what do you make of what you guys were able to, or that you were able to withstand those those comebacks? Like? Yeah, good to see us continue to add on because it's not going to be perfect every night. You know, obviously our bullpen's been, you know, about as lights out as you can. There was there were some weird things that happened out there. You know, I thought the Santander ball off the bat was going to be a fly ball to left field turns into a three run homer you know you're two outs and low comes in and and you know hangs a breaking ball they get another three ball on it so 
Um, it was it was important tonight that we continued to add on. It was good to see the offense really support the pitching because obviously the pitching, you know, has really in a lot of ways carried us uh, to this point early on. And you want a Chapman there in the ninth, even without the save situation? Yeah, because I got him up. I actually got him up potentially. I was going to bring him in, in the eighth, um, and then we added on, and, and so I switched there because I wanted them at the top of their their order. Um, and then I got him up again. So I basically got him up and hot twice tonight. So basically that after that second time that I got him hot, I was going to bring him in. Unless we completely broke it open, um, you know, I was going to bring him in in that spot and not, you know, get another guy hot. And Chappie would end up getting hot twice anyway. So I wanted him in the game at that point. Dave. Yeah, and with uh, Rizzo here, he was only here a half year last year, obviously. And like you mentioned, he got kind of derailed by the COVID stuff. Now that he's targeted for the whole year here do you think he has the potential with those kind of those nine iron shots to really taking advantage of a right field like that just because the way his swing is and the way he, he hits a lot of balls over there yeah and and you know what he's he's you know he's got that little bit of a knack to kind of do what the situation calls for you know and 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 i think i think he will be someone that should be able to take advantage of that porch you know i think you know, I think he likes Yankee Stadium, and and after tonight, I, I think I think it sealed it that this is definitely a place he he likes to likes to hit.